Hey there, this is Rebecca with Rain Nail Studio, and today we have another pedicure. Today's service is on a new client, and I did something a little bit different at the end of the video just because she did want gel polish, so I'll explain that when we get to that point in the service. But basically, I'm going to start the same way. I always examine the foot, see if she needs a callus treatment. In this case, she did not. She just had dry skin that was easily filed off with my foot file and then I'm going to go in with the cuticle softener just to push back you know the dead skin and the cuticles on her toes on this particular pinky toe the nail was really hiding under the skin so I did have to do a really deep clean on the pinky toe but I'm just going in with my cuticle pusher for right now just to push some of that dead skin back and I'm not going to use the foot file until after her second soak so once I'm done trimming the toenails, buffing the nail plate, and getting that skin as much off of the nail plate as possible, I'll have her put her foot back in the foot bath and then start on the left foot. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I am a meticulous manicurist graduate or student and I've been so for about three years now and I am really thankful for the course because in nail school they didn't teach us anything that was effective for pedicures and my goal is always to provide quality and safe services and that's exactly what I do on a day-to-day -day basis um let's see what else um after i push back what's on the nail plate i'm gonna go ahead and check underneath the toenails to see how far back i can trim without causing any discomfort or injuring my client i always check for skin underneath the nails because just looking at the top of the nail it can be really deceiving so i always do that double check before i get to trimming once i'm done trimming i will shape the toenail she did ex express that she does feel some discomfort in her big toenails in the corners when her toenails are growing out and because this was her first appointment I'm not sure if she'll be back because she said the last time she had a pedicure was sometime last year so I don't think she's a pedicure regular um, if she does come back I will go ahead and give her some pointers on how to um, maintain a good comfort level when it comes to her big toenails the reason why I didn't is because this service was a gift from her mother and I did not want to bombard her service with a plethora of information. I just wanted her to relax and get her service. So that's why I didn't go into my whole spiel on this service. But if she does come back, I will be giving her a little bit of education and knowledge on what to do with those uncomfortable toenails. This video is in real time, but I'm not going to add any music due to copyright restrictions. So just enjoy the video. This video is in real time, so I hope you enjoyed today's upload. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I will be doing a 10K giveaway, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, share the video. The giveaway will be pedicure essentials. So if you are a nail tech or just a nail enthusiast or a client, you will be receiving a nice kit of pedicure supplies. So go ahead and help me out. Help me get to 10K. 
And you can also follow me on Instagram at Becca B underscore. So I'll talk to you guys in just a bit. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, sorry, my neighbor's a bit disruptive. <laughs> She's always slamming the doors. I'm like, is she doing it on purpose, Lord? Is she? Keep <laughs> smell. What's going on? Does she do hair? She does waxing and spray tans. That chair does have a massage function that controller is right next to you if you want to use it. You can set your bag right there if you wanted to. Oh, okay. Nah, girl, you good. You're good.
Do you ever feel discomfort in your big toes? Um, like in these corners? Whenever my nails get long, I start to feel discomfort and I have to cut them. Mm -hmm. But not when they're short. Alright, did that.
much right i just want to know if this is fungus or not let's see it see y'all talking about removing my toenail or putting um like giving them medication right right and if it can be fixed with medicine right like, why would I want my toenail removed? Are you guys crazy? First of all, that sounds painful and it's ugly.
we are going to finish up this pedicure if you have any questions or comments you can leave them down below but you can also go watch my previous videos where i do a step-by-step -step voiceover um, but right now i'm gonna talk to you guys about the gel polish application so one thing i've been experiencing sometimes is that i'm not able to get everything off of the nail plate by just doing my regular pedicure process so today i did try something new i went ahead and got me an exfoliation cuticle bit and just kind of cleaned off that nail plate a little bit more in order to avoid lifting with gel polish i'm not sure if it's because this client has gone so long without nail care which is why I couldn't get everything off of the nail plate. But I'm just hoping that adding this step to the service will help that gel polish um, last a little bit longer because I have seen on a couple of my clients that the gel begins to lift as it grows forward. And the cuticle bit that I'm using is actually from Erica's ATA. I'm looking forward to taking her course very soon and I really do love the consistency of the products from that brand. But anyways, you guys, um, just make it to the end of the video. And like I said, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. You can follow me on Instagram at Becca B underscore. And if you want to see more polishing videos, just let me know. I don't include them in my pedicure videos because it is just a very long process. But if you would like to see that, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And again, my name is Rebecca. I hope to see you soon.